And that is a wrap on day two and another brilliant day here at MWC 2025. As expected, the Vodafone stand has been incredibly busy. Here are the highlights. We're talking satellite-based mobile networks. This is going to completely change the game. So talk to me about the work you're doing around that and just how the technology works. Yes, okay, so let's try to make it simple. So think of the satellites in the skies as antenna, just like the antennas we have on top of the mast. The antennas on top of the mast are connected with the equipment at the base of the mast with fiber. Here instead, the antennas are connected via satellites to the ground stations. Uh, the equipment is installed near the ground stations and then they connect directly to the core just like a regular site. And so it is really an extension of our network that will allow to give the same features, the same experience, the same security capabilities as well. Okay. Ever since I walked past this, it's been screaming out to my inner child, I'm a big Skeletrix girl. What is the link between driving and what you're showcasing here? So apart from being a racing fan and kind of sneaking it in, um, you know, one of the biggest things the telco industry is you know, facing right now is speed. The need to speed, that changing customer landscape, new technologies emerging. So that was the link and kind of that playful trend on how can voice help customers navigate that, that, that landscape. And um, we thought we'd add a competitive edge with the lap time leaderboard as well. And, get a few people involved. So what is the aim of Ambient IoT? The whole aim is to have devices that are completely batteryless. So because they are completely batteryless, they gather energy from the surrounding environment. So you can think about solar energy, you can think about wind, and you can think even about the radio waves themselves that are transmitted by the, the base stations. So because the amount of data that these devices uh, can transmit is so limited, you, you think just about you know a, a product identifier and so, the amount of energy that the devices actually need is not that great. So uh, what will happen is that the base stations will provide the energy and the carry wave for these nodes to, to actually transmit the data that they have.